The Darabin Creek begins near Woodstock, 25 kilometres north of Melbourne, joining the Yarra River at the suburban Ivanhoe. Local schools have monitored water quality as part of stream restoration for over 20 years. We need to record and measure what's going on in order to improve creeks and their waterways. That's what we do in Water Watch on the Darabin. We start by surveying a habitat to identify its condition and local plants. And then we start the physical tests. Pollution can have more of an effect when water levels are low. High water flows can bring pollution from upstream. The warmer the water, the less oxygen it can hold. Therefore, the cooler the water, the more oxygen it contains. The temperature of the water has a dramatic effect on the number and types of living things. Turbidity is the cloudiness of the water. If the water is too turbid, light can't reach underwater plants so they don't produce enough oxygen. Most living things need oxygen to survive. So dissolved oxygen levels are an important indicator of water quality. Degraded streams are usually low in oxygen and biodiversity. The pH of the water tells us if it is acidic or alkaline. Most organisms prefer a neutral environment, a pH of between 6 and 8. Conductivity tells us how much salt is in the water. If the water is too salty, plants and animals will die. Nitrate is plant fertilizer. Increased levels of nitrate results in algal blooms. When these collapse, bacteria break them down, but also use up available oxygen. Macroinvertebrates are small animals in the water. These are indicators of water quality. We find macroinvertebrates like caddis fly lava, we know the water is good. The indicator can also show what has happened in the stream over the last few weeks. This has been a Thornberry High School production. You said